gentlemen, we thank you for tuning in to today's show. <laughs> my oh my, do we have a show for you. I thank you guys for tuning in each and every week and listening to me. Yeah, let's go. Uh, keep vibing. Yes, 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 we're staying connected. I see all the fans that are tuning in right now. All the Ziki and the Richie Spice fans. Keep vibing, keep vibing. We will be right back. The King of Kings, the Lords of Lords, Conquering Lion of the Tribe of Judah. <laughs> yes, 
Father, a blessings, love, and light to my Rastafari family. I tell you guidance to the masses. I could not do this without you. And so I thank you for tuning in each and every week and lending to me your listening ear. So wherever you are in the world, I thank you for joining me in today's music lab. <laughs> So to our listening audience, just a rundown of today's show, our weekly 1M1 music review show. Our songs included in our 1M1 music review show are based on the merits of each artist's musical production and not on a fan base or record sales. Yes, all songs included in our weekly shows are by artist submissions or recommendations by fans. The musical content that plays on this show is judged by the quality of the recording, the listener impact, of course, that is the message, creativity, and overall zodi quality. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned into the Music Lab, where we do not disappoint, and each week we aim to please. <laughs> yes! So for today's show, we have coming up momentarily, straight out of Namibia, we will be vibing with Ziki, Ziki, right? My oh my, when you're talking about a vocal talent, professionalism, great music, that's what we're all about, and we give you nothing but the less. So of course, Ziki is going to be gracing our stage soon or later, okay? In just a few minutes, okay? Stay tuned for that. And we have an audience that's just tapped in across the world. Across the world, I see you, I see you, I see you. And I'm going to be shouting out, you know, everyone in just a few minutes from across the board, okay? Well... We have a list of, I must tell you, Richie Spice fans who has been reaching out and asking about the man himself, okay? And they are so excited, you know, to hear Richie Spice in an interview because as a few persons have said to me, they haven't heard him in an interview more recently. Now I know that he has been doing quite a few interviews, so maybe the audience... You should be following Richie Spice so you can keep up to date with where these interviews are being held, okay? <laughs> but it's no time like the present because I am going to tap in with Richie Spice to ask him just a few things that has been going on in this world and we'll touch base on something is more songs that has happened within the past itself. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We will be right back with Ziki in just a few minutes.
forgive me. I know I hurt you, Lord. Forgive me. I bet you don't wait too long. Forgive me. I'm not where I wanna be. It's you I need. Please forgive me. I know I hurt you, Lord. Forgive me. Our listening audience, I thank you for tapping in and lending to us your listening ear each and every week. <laughs> well, I already have、um, that there are persons reaching out to me and are telling me how much it is that they are loving this song by Ziki and cannot get enough of it. So, guess what? We do have Ziki. Was currently in our music lab, and I am going to be tapping in with her in just a minute. Just give us another sixty seconds, okay? Not always easy. Life can be deceiving. Giving you everything you want, handing you dreams you can't afford, just to take it away in a blink of an eye. Terrible feeling when you know you need him, but no, 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 your ego won't let go. Such a shame. Forgive me. I know I hurt you, Lord. Forgive me. I bet you don't wait too long. Forgive me. I'm not where I wanna be. It's you I need. Please forgive. Yes, ladies and gentlemen.、Um, thanks,、uh, you know, to the listening audience for reaching out.、Um, before I introduce、um, Ziki on the line、um, to everyone, would just like to shout out a few countries that I know is currently listening and that have reached out to me. So, would like to send special、um, shout out to Namibia, Ghana, Gambia. Kenya, Nigeria, Ezekiel from out of Nigeria, Hosni from out of Nigeria. Thank you so much for tuning in. South Africa, we would not be the same, of course, without Germany tuning in. Hi, Alex. Thanks for tuning in, Alicia. <laughs> Alicia out of Australia. We have in the good whole USA. We have various persons who are tapped into today's show as well, and of course. We will not be existent without Jamaicans of Westmoreland,、um, Spanish Town, Kingston, Ocherias. I see you. I see you guys. I see you. Okay. We. I. I cannot call every all the places right now, but、um, routinely as we go through the interview, I am going to be picking up you guys. So yes, send me your text messages as well, your interview questions. So today we are tapping in with Ziki, one of the finest empresses and songstress out of Namibia. <laughs> Hi Ziki, how are you? I am awesome, Empress Rose. I am great. I'm humbled and just honored to be here with you guys right now. Awesome, awesome. How are you doing? I'm, 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 I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You know,、um, in the background, actually, I opened up with playing "Forgive Me,"、um, one of your、mm. songs.、Um, such an inspirational song.、Um, you know, I'm going to jump into the interview and ask you a few questions as it pertains to various songs that we are going to listen to today, because I think that your music、mm-hmm. is so eclectic and so、um, infectious. You know that even if you,、mm-hmm. even if you're vibing with a song that doesn't necessarily have,、um, you know, English speaking to it, that 
Yeah. It's so infectious that you have no cha- choice but to wonder what exactly is the song yeah. saying <laughs> and what it's all about. So, what was the inspiration behind this song? That is so relevant at this time as a matter, you know, for myself, I listen to it and it's relevant to me. What was your inspiration behind yeah. the song itself? You know, basically I wrote this song at a time where I was going through a lot and I wasn't actually being true to who I am and my beliefs. You know, I'm very God feeling. So at the time it was really rocky. Um, so I, it's that song is basically just asking for forgiveness from the Lord, you know, for all the wrongdoings and not living up to what I know I should be living up to, basically. Yes. And, and, and so much appreciated for saying that, because I think as human beings, sometimes we forget that you know, there's a higher power. We didn't fall from the sky and we have to give, you know, praise to the man upstairs as well. Um, let's, Mm -hmm. let's talk about your music, your journey into music. At what age did you realize that music is your calling? Well, I was nine years old, you know, and I was, I've, I've always been part of the, the church choirs and, and the school choirs. But I actually started to realize that this was a great passion of mine um, towards the end of my high school year, um, which was 2009. Mm-hmm. So that's when I really realized that this is something I really love and I, something I want to pursue. So, yeah. Yes. Um, is gospel your preferred genre? Yes. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down. No doubt about it. <laughs> now, as, as we talk about the gospel genre, have you dabbled into other genres beside um, gospel over the years? I have, actually. I, I have done a bit of um, R&B. Um, I've, I've done a bit of disco mm-hmm. old school disco i've done um i'm a piano yeah i've done a bit of a few actually all right well i'm going to actually check out some of your sounds now that i'm inclined to what it is that you're you know your music i'm loving your music i love it um you know um, so yes, I think that you are forced to be reckoned with and to the listening audience mm-hmm. that keep on, that are sending in, um, you know, best wishes and that they love your song. Would just like to shout out Arlene Stomp, oh, uh, Arlene Stomp out of Jamaica. That's amazing. <laughs> she's out of Portmore, Jamaica and she's listening currently. Would like to big up Arlene Stomp. Um, you know, um, she's loving your craft. So one of these days we are actually, I'm going to take Arlene. Mm-hmm. I know Arlene's personal, so one of these days I'm going to take her to Africa and, uh, you know, especially in Namibia, where it is that I can introduce yeah. her to you. We could meet one on one <laughs> as well. By all means. Yes. So <laughs> when, by all means. Now, I know you, you, have, you said you've dabbled in gospel. Um, what I didn't hear is reggae, you know, so I'm a little bit jealous because, um, you know, as a Jamaican, I like when people tell me, you know, have you dabbled in reggae? Mm. Um... Not yet, but it's definitely in the pipeline. <laughs> it definitely is in the pipeline. It's something I've wanted to do. Yes. Um, one of my um, favorite artists you know, mm-hmm. is the late Lucky Dube. So reggae and has been a, a, a huge part of me. Yes. Um, yeah. So definitely in the pipeline. Well, I'm going to jump to one of your other songs and we'll be right back for mm-hmm. more of this interview. Excuse me. <laughs>
But ladies and gentlemen, I had to pull up this song because it is that, you know, what do we say? If it's if it's nice, you play it once. If it's if it's super nice, you play it twice. And if it's out of the ordinary, play it three times. <laughs> you may just get a third time. You are listening to Ziki. For everyone who's just joining, this is Ziki of the Land here. Enjoy. <laughs> listen to me okay this song uh-huh. is this song is so infectious and it sounds more of a tra- there's a bit of traditional attached to it as well it is a traditional namibia song as well uh-huh. it is <laughs> well it's it's, it's very traditional it's it's very namibian yes (laughs) it's very namibian okay well i tell you it's very infectious it's like no matter what language you speak you are going to move with this song is playing now for the Uh. now for the record i tried pronouncing the name of this track and correct me if i'm Mm. wrong okay because you know i'm I'm still trying to get to know the language and over time it will come to me yamundu yande yamundu yande (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm close. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Bear with me, Ziki. No, you're going to get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, now, is the song in the official language of Namibia? Or is it a slang? One of the, the, the language. The, the official language is actually English and mm-hmm. Afrikaans. Um this is just one of the indigenous uh, languages, basically. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Well, earlier we spoke about your primary journey into music, you know. Do you want to talk to me mm-hmm. about um, you being in the church choir and, you know, th- throughout high school as well, um, as well as your community choir? Talk to me about the experience, you know, and the transition between these specific periods oh, so basically uh, the transition from the church choir when i was nine into the school choirs and community choirs for me that was just 
me literally just enjoying the art of music and you know traveling with 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 choirs and doing all of those things that teenagers love to do mm -hmm. and then i i got into the unam choir where i actually um got to develop my voice and yeah. i and learn more about my voice and what i can do with it um all thanks to mr bonnie perico who is uh, the conductor of the unam choir and then from the UNAM Choir, I moved to uh, um, Collective Singers. That's a group of singers, and uh, we basically just spread the word of God with everything that we do. Um, I'm also part of my current church choir now, which is Solida Gloria, and the aim is also just the same. And now I'm also doing the, uh, my solo mm -hmm. uh, music, which i got to start or rather debuted my album in 2019 november so yeah <laughs> nice now um what message would you give to a you know a younger namibians or the younger namibians wishing to explore um music or to follow in your footsteps i would say go for it because for me music is is extremely important and it's one of the tools or what, what, rather one of the ways the best ways to communicate with someone that does not even speak the same language as you or someone that doesn't have the same background as you um, you're able to communicate to them through music so go ahead don't hold back do exactly what you love life is too short it can be too short so live fully i'm loving the response <laughs> I'm loving the response, by the way. <laughs> now, as we talk about this infectious song, um, you know, playing in the background, is there a video that's attached to this song as well? Which song is this? The music video, um, Le Mundo. Le Mundo and Jay, yes. for mm -hmm. that song. Yes, is there a music well, video? There's no, there's, no, there's no music video yet, but I have gotten a whole lot of requests uh for a video uh, so i'm definitely looking into that oh yes uh, yes by all means please and 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 you know um since we're talking uh, since you know putting myself out there a little bit more uh -huh. because there's so much of my listeners that tell me you know um for me to be out there a little bit more i'm, a, I'm an introvert so i don't like to be out there like that but you see, when you have this, uh -huh. when you do this video, and since I will be in Namibia, I would like to be in the video, okay? <laughs> yeah, no, you will definitely feature. You'll get an invite. <laughs> Personally invite. A personal <laughs> invite. Yes, by that time, I will actually know the words to the song and I will actually mm. be able to um, capture the um, language itself as well. Now, mm. um, we are going to jump to one of your other tracks in a few minutes. It's Owe Owe. Um, but before we do, um, mm -hmm. would like to send a special shout out to a few persons that are actually shouting you out and um, have questions for you as well. So I'm going to okay. read off one of those questions before we get into one of your other songs. So we have Chris out of the UK that would like to know if you have ever collaborated with a non-English speaking or non-Namibian artist on any of your tracks. I haven't. You know, the first album was just me doing me. So I, I haven't really collaborated with anyone as of yet you haven't collaborated is it something that you will think about for the future in terms of collaboration most most definitely most definitely now do you draw the line somewhere in terms of the collaboration itself does the artist have to be a huge artist could it be an aspiring artist and uh, how about the genre uh, they don't have to be a big artist mm -hmm. you know if i love what you do and you love what i do let's go in let's get into studio and, and do what we love to do and in terms of genre i don't like to box myself so i'll do whatever feels right 
Awesome, awesome. So, Chris, there you have it. To our listening audience, if you are just joining, we are currently tuned with Ziki out of Namibia when we are talking about vocal ability and talking about infectious songs and what she brings to the <laughs> to the masses. Listen in. You will not be disappointed. I am going to jump to one of her other songs and I will be right back with more questions. carried away listening to this song because I tell you it is actually one of my favorite songs so Ziki we have an audience yes. that's going crazy right now okay 
<laughs> so brace <laughs> brace yourself brace yourself because okay. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't get any better than this okay so um when i listen to this song to me it's a definitive mm-hmm. documentary piece you know that's the mm-hmm. vibe that i get mm-hmm. from this production of uh, of course historically this is a uh, one of your cultural production am i correct this is one of your cultural You're production correct. so how is this song received in other african countries or just globally in terms of um the production and what's behind it um i i can speak for how it's received here in namibia it's actually the first time that i'm getting such a huge response on this platform from people who aren't namibian so here in namibia it has been received really really well because it's something it's a song that a lot of people can relate to um the song is basically a cry by the obaherero and nama women and uh, Uh, they're just asking why and what have we done to deserve you know the murders and being raped and physically abused um now what the, the the abuse i'm talking about here is basically in relation to the herero and nama genocide which mm-hmm. was based uh which was first which was the first genocide of the 20th century and it was waged by the german empire against the Obaherero and Nama people, as well as the Sen people. Um, so yeah, it's just a, 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 it's a cry by the Obaherero and the Nama women. And every time I listen to this song, I, I actually get really, really emotional about it. So yeah, man. I'm telling you, I, I love it. I love it. Of course, so much to go Thank on you. in terms of this track this track so to our listening audience uh, the name of this track is away away it's, um i'm sorry o w e o w e and uh, it's it's a masterpiece um throughout your professional career you have been uh, um part of the university of namibia choir um you know for a while as well yes. you were part of an a cappella group called the jewels yes, the, the, the jewels <laughs> okay um and um this this what's the name of the group you said vm6 i was part of a couple of a cappella groups actually the vm6 um was with a couple of guys and then the jewels mm-hmm. uh, was an all female all female a cappella group okay um very well rounded i must say very well rounded and indulge um which one of uh, the groups that you have been in you would consider your fun years you know in terms of musical experience which one was the funnest one to be in and don't be too, too which, one depl- the- which one of the groups that you have been in was the fun group to be in um the, you would say the fun group yes um <laughs> that would have <laughs> Uh, you know, they all had a bit of fun in it, mm-hmm. but what really stuck with me is is definitely the jewels. Okay, okay. Yeah, it would have to be the jewels. <laughs> And is there a specific is there a specific reason beyond the fun times? It started off as music only and we became friends and now we like tighter than sisters you know <laughs> so, okay so you've you've built a family within the exactly okay nice nice um how would you say um your earlier introductory years how would you say it as profession it has prepared you for your professional career stage presence is one of them I never used to love the spotlight as much mm-hmm. and I was always a nervous wreck whenever I got onto the stage but now I've grown into myself and I am more comfortable on stage and I'm more comfortable to do what I do in front of people and not be uh, concerned about 
the, the judgment that will that they will pass on you know because i know what i love and i know what i want to put out there in the world so confidence is definitely one of it confidence a confidence builder um I, I was having a conversation with an artist a few weeks ago um, um mm -hmm. an artist that i had on my inter on you know on this interview show and the artist said to me that um he has been interviewing for years but he was most comfortable interviewing with me he says always a nervous wreck <laughs> and no matter how much uh, interviews he go into he's always nervous but he said when you interviewed me i i didn't even it, you know i know i'm going to an interview i was very um nervous before the interview yeah. but i got on your show and it just went away and it called me and yeah, you know no, to tell I can, me i can relate to 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 the, that artist i can definitely relate <laughs> really were you nervous getting on here today no i'm kind of calm a person and you know <laughs> she's an amazing thing mm -hmm. so yeah thank you for that <laughs> well, I appreciate the fact that I make persons so comfortable with being on this show. I truly <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Yes. So I'm going to jump to um, this interview is almost, we are coming to an end, but I would love to leave my listening audience with one of your other tracks. So I'm going to jump mm -hmm. jump to this track and we're going to come back, answer some questions about this track and we'll also vibe out with this track. This is one of my favorite. So to the listening audience, this next track that I am going to be playing, I will be giving away 10 copies. I will be gifting 10 copies. So when you listen, which I know that you will love the song as well, please reach out to me and tell me if you would like a copy and I feel sure be gifting it. Okay. So we'll be right back with more Ziki just after that. You know, sometimes you just need to keep it real with yourself. You need to realize that not everyone in your life has your best interest at heart. Some people, no, most people are just waiting for your downfall. So I urge you to be careful of who you let in. I've learned the hard way. However, I'm happier. I'm happier because I realized what I've been doing so wrong. My choice of friends has mostly been so wrong. I gave you what was meant for me. My love, my time, my energy. gentlemen oh my gosh oh my gosh let me tell you it's like a sea of persons just now that just sending in message from different parts of the world and saying how much they appreciate this song ziki let me tell you this song speaks to my soul okay that's what real music is oh, wow. about okay i love the song so to our Thank english <laughs> I love it. Shout out to my um <clears throat> shout out to Diana. Diana um that's my 
brother's wife okay shout out to diana who has just sent in and 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 you know singing praises as well listen to me man you girl you got something going on here i could listen to you all day when we talk about great music this is what the one and one music review show is all about okay and we have a set of English speaking audience that has tuned in and said, listen, we have no idea what Zeke is saying, different parts of the song. But the fact that she came out with uh. English in the beginning is enough. Your songs are infectious. Okay. And it exudes <laughs> nothing you. but positivity. So to our mm-hmm. English speaking audience, they would like to know what does the word Kanangwe means? The title of the song. Direct translation, that would be this person. This person that just wants to be in my life. This person that wants to take, continue taking physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. However, this person does not want to pull back into our friendship or relationship. I should always be the one. Love it. (laughs) So Kanangui is literally just this person. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, so I must ask, you know, um, what's the backstory behind writing this material? You know, you went through something. Um, it's a message that you're trying to pass on to your listening audience out there in terms of what your delivery is. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I wasn't personally going through it. Mm-hmm. However, I had. And a friend of mine that was going through it and um, I felt the need to just write a song about it and after she listened to the song she then realized how I mean what type of friend she actually had so yeah I mean it just talks about the, the people we tend to surround ourselves with you know the wrong people love and it how we should just be woke about it Yes, I'm telling you, today's show is all about relevance. When Later, when I even get into um, Richie Spice's collection, he is such a relevant mm-hmm. artist because of the songs that he sings. This show right here is about the relevance of the material mm-hmm. that songs that live on and on, you know, cannot be pushed underneath mm-hmm. a rug and stand the test of time. This is it right here. So, I must ask, what's next for Zeki? What's next for you? You have accomplished so much on a local and national level. So, is there an urge to place your footing on the global front? Most definitely. Uh, there, there are stages I just want to be on, you know, all over the world. I don't, I don't really want to mention a specific country because I feel like each country has a different vibe to offer and a different set of people to offer. So any stage abroad that I can get onto, I would love to and work with different artists as well. I will definitely be working on new music um, coming the next year, more videos and hopefully, yeah, traveling around, eh? <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So, in terms of a listening audience and thinking about what it is um, recording-wise um, and putting out mm-hmm. musical works, do you have anything that you'll be putting out for this year? EP, single, album, or should you look towards next year for that? Excuse me? What should we look for in terms of musical presentation? Will you have a music release anytime this year, or should we look towards next year for material? Uh, there's there are actually two songs um, that will most probably be released this year. Um, remember, I spoke about the ama piano genre that I also tapped into. Mm-hmm. Um, I did that with a producer called Arafat, and that will be released this year. In fact, this month. So that you should be on the lookout for. Um, and then I'll be getting into studio very soon as well for another song before this the year ends. Wow, wow, I love it, I love it. In closing, in closing, you're so sad to, you're so sad to part with you. You know, I'm going to have to bring you on. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring, <laughs> I'm going to 
to bring you on again when you, when you come out with you know your new material i'm going to bring you on for you know another mm -hmm. interview and i'd love that and of course to see how it is that you can connect you know one-on-one -on -one the, the different spaces but before you go mm -hmm. do you have any shout mm -hmm. shout outs and if you will leave your social media handles with the listening audience who's going crazy over this song and my phone is blowing up you know about this song right here um, <laughs> yes <laughs> so i just want to uh, send a shout out to the producers i've worked with um auntie Tukua, solani glow as well as arafat um mm -hmm. big shout out to my team as well um and everyone who has just supported me throughout my journey big shout out to to y'all Thank you to Crucial, the selector, for being the plug, <laughs> connecting me to the yes. platform. Um, <laughs> a shout out to you, Empress Rose, and the Music Lab. Thank you so, so much for this opportunity. I can't thank you enough. Um, yeah, and every single person tuned in loving my music. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate y'all. And uh, if you want more, of Ziki, <laughs> my YouTube uh, name is uh, Ziki Nam, as well as Instagram is uh, Ziki underscore Nam, mm -hmm. and Facebook is Ziki Nam. My music is available on Spotify, Deezer, iTunes, and Apple Music. Just search Ziki, Z I K W I. -I. Yes, so to our listening audience, this has been Ziki, that's Z-I-K-I-I. -I. And if you're looking for her across the social media platforms, please also remember N-A-M, abbreviation for Namibia, Ziki Nam. Check her out across the social media platforms. Reach out to her and tell her how much it is that you enjoy exactly what she brings to this music and entertainment value because she is nothing short of the best okay and i encourage each and everyone to go out and support 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 look out for her songs across all digital for her songs across the digital stores okay i want you guys to go out and um support 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 if you cannot purchase our songs by all means please stream check out spotify they never disappoint you're always there okay stream the songs across the social media platforms and i am sure just like myself she will appreciate it ladies and gentlemen ziki it's been a pleasure having you on today's one-on-one -on -one music review show thank you for having me have a good one. <laughs> yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with Kanagwe. Okay, if you would like a copy of this song, please reach out to me. Okay. I've learned the hard way. However, I'm happier. I'm happier because I realized what I've been doing so wrong. My choice of friends has mostly been so wrong. Are you fair?